Hello there. In this video, we're going to look how we can combine two best system, Automatic 11.11 and Comfy UI together. So it's meaning you can run this Comfy UI inside the Automatic 11.11 installations and get best of both worlds. Hi, my name is Vladimir Chopin and let's continue working on this. After you install your extensions, you can go to install it and it should shrink on the list. After that, I will recommend to click apply and restart to allow your UI to restart and reload it. After this completed, you should see right tab on the top says Comfy UI. If you click on this tab, you will have a kind of warning which says the Comfy UI extension and you notice right here it says it's not yet installed. So you have two options. One, you can click and install in default by clicking install. Comfy UI, or you can go inside the settings tabs, going down to Comfy UI tab, and from here you can specify path where do you want this installed. You may have an error, it says the path already exists. In this case, it's just the extension one be sure you don't want override files that already exist. After this install is completed, I do recommend for you to go and click Update Compu UI, Require Reload UIs, and also Apply Settings Reload UI. I think the Reload UI little bit misleading word because it should says after this Restart UI, and this will make different because Reload you can just reload the interface in a browser, but Restart it's meaning you need go ahead and take the server that you're currently running, closing, and restart that server. After your installation is completed, and you click on Restart Server, let's see what we'll continue doing. Right here, you can notice it's downloading all necessary things that is in your configuration file, and it will start running on your local, your usual automatic 11.11 installation. But if we continue down, you'll notice right here, Comfy AUI start initializing and start loading. Similar ways if you run it on its own. If we're going down below, you'll notice right here at this point, it's actually launched by itself. And it is showing that actually running as a standalone. So it's meaning you can access directly from this port to the Comp UI, and here is a running as a standalone. But again, our interest was running inside the Automatic 11.11. And for this reason, we can go back to our interface, click on Comp UI tab, and you notice right here we have it exactly access to same same interface. And it's meaning in this way you can execute and launch. Um, Comfy UI stuff inside the automatic 11.11. So let's just go ahead and queue the prompt. Please keep it in mind that because it is running as a separate server, not all settings and all locations for the render images and other things are shareable. For this, you'll need it proceed same like you do with a Comfy UI interface and set shareable through the configurations inside the Comfy UI settings. It is very nice to have it Comfy UI interface inside the Automatic 11.11, but what I found out powerful, most power you can get it not just by UI itself, but by integrations of multiple workflow. Let me show what I mean by this. For example, if we're going to text to text and right here for example we can put it all different stuff as usual but if we scroll down below you notice now we have it also a special tab with extension a comp ui if we expand this we'll have it now node inside our workflow so it's meaning right here we have it input image it's coming from what we processing and we have it also output image that is passing through 
this middle area it's where we can go and create a different nodes that allowed us to process or work with our comp ui and if you notice from nodes it's have access to everything so you can even create your own additional stylization another lore another model another preprocessor conditioning image everything so you can create very complex uh, path inside here workflow and apply its workflow from post process image to another image up it is will take some time to experiment and create a more interesting workflow for me but i think it is if you're interested in conf ui and automatic 11 11 go experiment with this and i'll be happy if you can share some of your findings what is the best work workflow here as well thank you for watching this video hopefully you found it useful please share and like this video it's helped my channel grow and encourage to create more videos thank you and have a great day